Okay, welcome to video four of the hot backup um, tutorial here. Okay, so we just um, so what happened with the archive logs where I showed you that I applied one log and I saw one piece of data, my father's entry in the employees table, and then I applied another log and showed you another piece of data, my friend Rich's entry in the employees table. Then I applied another log and showed you my friend Mark's entry in the employees table. What am I showing you there? Well, let's go through a, a scenario that you that you may run into as a DBA. You have a you have a DB which is in archive log mode. So you take hot backups of this database, the company you work for. At 12 a.m., you take a hot backup of your DB. And let's say at and let's say at 2 a.m., um, Rich B is added to the employees table. An hour later, 3 a.m., Rich D is added to the employees table. At 4 a.m., Mark D is added to the employees table. Let's say that at 6 a.m., your database crashes. Oh no, problem! Or whatever happens and you lose the disk that your database is on. Okay, no problem. So to restore your database, um, you bait you 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 number one thing is you restore the hot backup from 12 a.m. Now you can do that and bring the database back up and restore it. So your users will call you at six at six a.m. Say there's a problem. You can restore the last hot backup of the database you have at midnight and then call your end users and say, okay, you're, you're, the database is restored. You're, you're back up and, and ready to rock again. They're going to say, wait a minute. What happened to all the work that I did between 12 midnight and 6 a.m.? All that data is gone. So what I have to do after I, after I restore the backup from 12 a.m., that's only step one. I can't turn it over to my users just yet. The next step is I have to apply all my archive logs. And that will include the 1 a.m., the 2 a.m., the 3 a.m., and the 4 a.m. change, okay? Then once I'm done applying all the logs, then I open my DB and return to the end users. And then the end users will then see um, all the data that they inserted at 1, 2, 3, and 4 between midnight and 6. So that's why the archive log thing is so important, okay? Now you'll notice that we did manual switches or with the alter system archive log current command during this these tutorial t tutorials, <laughs> and we just did that for the tutorial. In an actual real database environment, when a database is running in archive log mode, um, what's happened every time every time um, a redo log file fills, it's going to automatically switch to another sequence, sequence 10, then sequence 11. Then sequence 12. Then it's going to go on and on, on and so forth. Okay, and it's and it may not it may not occur every hour. It may occur a couple times an hour. It may occur um, once every five hours, once every day. It really depends. Okay, that really depends on how busy your particular database is. Okay, so that's why archive logs are so important. It it allows you to recover your data. So the hot backup allows you to take a backup, copy the files while the database is up and running. So the database can remain up all day long, all year long, no problem. And it's still getting backups every day, even though it's been up forever. And that's fine, okay? The, ar the archived log files that the archive log mode generates for you through the course of a day, all right, allows you to do something that we call roll forward. It allows you to, ro to roll forward your database, okay, um, to whatever hour that you want to roll forward to. Okay, so to continue, all right, because the backup happened at midnight. What happens between midnight and midnight if you only do one backup a day? You have to have all those archive logs between that 24-hour period in order to bring the database totally up to date um, whenever the database failure were to happen, okay? All right, well, you have successfully put an Oracle database in the hot backup, in the archive log mode. You took a hot backup of it, and you restored it. Very good. And the difference between a cold backup and hot backup is a cold backup you must shut down a database first, and hot backup is you can take a you can take a backup while the database is up and running while transactions are in flight. Um, 
I know there's a lot of things not really explained in this video, uh, but um, please stay, please uh, find my other videos out on YouTube, which um, are it's going to be an internal series where I go over the internal workings of Oracle, and I really focus on the hot backup process as internals because I get a lot of questions every day. I get a ton of questions about hot backups. Well, why do I have to take a binary cop backup my control file? Why does it need to be in archive log mode? When you put a table space in the backup mode, what does that mean? Those are really detailed lectures, and but they but they they, they weren't their very own um, series, internal series. All right, I don't want, I didn't want to include that here. Again, the only purpose of the of, of this tutorial was to show you how to do it um, operationally. Okay, all right. Um, I hope you learned something, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.